my name is Chris. Uh, I live in Iowa. Uh, I've been a conservative for a very long time. Um, in fact, I voted for John McCain over Barack Obama. Um, I guess uh, as far as credibility goes, I served four years in the Army, um, been a conservative kind of ever since, you know, and the last election, as I saw the Republicans move closer and closer to Trump, I moved farther and farther away from that. Okay. So first, the very first problem is asking foreign country for help. Okay. Plain and simple. That's, that's absolutely unacceptable. And I believe that this country is paying a huge price for this now. Um, on top of that, his, he's, uh, he's a false messenger. What I mean by that is he's constantly contradicting himself to the American people. When you do that as a president, the message gets confused. And that's part of what we're dealing with now. He has kind of destroyed government, in a sense. We don't have experts. We don't have good people um, in these institutions right now. These institutions really aren't functioning. Um, his foreign policy, lack thereof, uh, I'm not even sure if we have a foreign policy. Meeting with Kim Jong-un on a personal level is not foreign policy. Foreign policy is having diplomats sit down and negotiate things over time. Um, these things take years to build. Trump's found ways to destroy them in days. Um, I could go on and on if you want me to. <laughs> um, I mean, my plans are, you know, I'm going to vote for Biden. Um, the reason I'm going to vote for Biden is because he has a track record of being a good leader. He's, you know, he's for the American people. He's not for himself. He's not for business interests. Uh, more importantly, he's had experience pulling us out of a recession, right? So right now, this is one of the most challenging times I think the American economy has ever experienced. And we need someone who knows what they're doing. We need someone who's going to fill government with experts so we can start getting back on the road to recovery. Right now, we haven't even started recovery. We're still on the way down.